This is probably what your levels of focus look like. It starts off high, then it gradually gets worse throughout the day. But what if I told you this is what your levels of focus could look like? That's what I experienced after implementing this simple habit. And that was time tracking. Now, I'm not promising that you'll stay in a flow state for 15 hours a day, but I will show you how you can use time tracking to stay focused at every task throughout the entire day. My goal is to convince you to try it out for a week, but if not, I also share what I learned from tracking every minute of my day for the past few months. At the end, I'll also show you exactly how I go about time tracking and how you can easily do the same. So I started tracking my time a couple of months ago because I felt like time was really passing by really quickly. And sometimes the entire day would go by and I wasn't really sure what it is that I really accomplished. So I tried a few different methods of time tracking, stuff like mapping stuff out on my calendar or even just uh, sporadically tracking my time, but it didn't really all click for me until I used a time tracking app and I tracked every minute of my day. As someone who quit their job to pursue entrepreneurship, I thought I was spending a lot of time working, but when I actually tracked my time and looked at how much, how many hours I was working in a single week, a lot of the stuff I was doing could have been easily delegated to someone else or not done at all. And I also saw that effectively I was spending zero hours per week doing the things I was passionate about, like learning languages and playing guitar. The three main things that I tracked were personal time, social time, and work time. But I also tracked how many hours I spent exercising, sleeping, and pursuing my hobbies. At first, I didn't really make any changes to my routine. I just wanted to have a good picture of how I was actually allocating my time. And yeah, before I tracked my time, I figured I was spending probably eight hours sleeping, eight hours working, and eight hours on personal stuff. But when I actually had the breakdown, I saw that there were so many little pockets of time that were wasted and they added up to quite a substantial amount of time. It's only after you start tracking your time that you realize how limited and precious time is as a resource. Things like driving, cooking, cleaning, uh, doing laundry, chatting. I found that I could easily lose five to six hours if I wasn't paying attention to these things. Yeah, I can make a totally separate video about how I optimize my time from continuing to do this, but in this video, I just wanna talk about how you can increase your levels of focus by just time tracking. Once I started time tracking, I also found that I spent way less time task switching, which there are studies that show that it takes 23 minutes to regain focus after just even responding to a message or checking your email. But there are three main reasons I found as to why time tracking is so efficient at helping you stay focused all day. And the first one is because you become more conscious of your time. So because I was accounting for every single minute of the day, I found that I would less likely be distracted or be procrastinating because I actually had to track those minutes. And even if I only had one hour to work, I felt way more focused because I had actually had to start the timer and work for an hour and then stop the timer. So just the fact that I was setting a timer was increasing my levels of focus. When you start time tracking, you're less likely to spend time scrolling on social media because you actually have to track that. And once you start tracking that, you're naturally going to spend less time on it. The second reason why it's effective is because you become more efficient at using the same amount of time. So. One thing that I started doing was setting constraints as to how many hours per week that I actually wanted to be working. And this actually forces you to become more effective. So this is called the work compression method. Once I started doing this, I found that even though I was working less hours, I got way more done and I actually had more time to do the things that I wanted to. The third reason why it's effective is because it helps you create more pockets of time. So before I started time tracking, I always felt like I didn't have enough time to do the things I wanted to. Like I would not spend as much time hanging out with friends or family or even pursuing my own hobbies. But once I started tracking my time, I found different pockets of time where I could try to be, become more efficient, like uh, driving, cleaning, and preparing food. Like I started meal prepping, which just saves a bunch of time throughout the week. And I also tried having someone else do my laundry, which also saved me a ton of time every week. I also found that once I got in the habit of tracking my time, certain things that I would normally take my time on, I would try to do it faster because I didn't actually want to be allocating my time towards doing this. Yeah, the reason I even started time tracking in the first place was because I listened to this podcast with this entrepreneur, Rob Durdek, and he's a super successful entrepreneur. He has a bunch of companies. I think he does something like a couple hundred million dollars a year. But he says that one of the only ways that he was able to manage doing all this and still have a family and spend time with his wife is because he diligently tracked his time every day. And even to this day, he tracks his time diligently so that he can make sure that he doesn't spend more than eight hours working so that he can spend the rest of the time with his family and pursuing other projects. And I think it makes a lot of sense because it's the only way that you can actually prove to yourself that you have balance, that you're not overly allocating your time towards the things that you don't wanna be allocating. 
So yeah, after doing this, I found that I'm able to be way more present when I'm hanging out with family or friends. I'm not actually checking stuff. So it actually feels like my energy levels and focus levels are flat throughout the entire day. But yeah, I want to show you the app that I actually use to track my time. Yeah, once again, I'm not actually sponsored by these apps. And there's a lot of different ways that you can track your time. Like you don't actually have to use an app at all, but this just makes it easy for me. I also want to show you some of the breakdowns for the past few weeks. All right, so the app that I use to track my time is called Timelines. And there's a bunch of different apps I can use to track your time. But one of the reasons I really like this is because it tracks my sleep time and also time working out automatically. So it just automatically imports it from my Aura Ring and Apple Watch. Yeah, sometimes I miss a few minutes here or there. I don't really sweat that too much. But in order to start a timer, I just click, let's say I'm hanging out with people, I'll click social. These are just the categories that I've made, um, but it shows up in your notification center permanently. So you can see that there's always a timer running. And if you have like a iPhone 15 where you have like the dynamic display, then it's going to show on the top, I believe. But yeah, it's, it's super easy to start and stop timers. So if you switch one, it just uh, switches it, it stops the other timer uh, immediately. And if you want to make any adjustments, like you tracked it incorrectly, you can go to the log and just change the time. So I think it's worth doing, even if you just do an approximate time tracking, like you don't have to actually make sure every single minute is accurate. It also has a setting, if you pay for it, where it can import your events from your calendar. So if you have like a work calendar or a calendar that you use to have all the things that you do in a day, you can import that to get the analytics. So this is what the analytics look like. So I track my sleep, time working out. You can see I spent like, um, let me see, last week maybe. Yeah, so last week I spent like almost eight hours working out. Like that's like um, an hour a day or so. Uh, I spent like 54 hours sleeping, 27 hours working, 26 hours doing personal stuff. So that includes like uh, showering, cleaning, errands, just chilling out. And I spent like 20, 44 hours with family and friends. And one of the things you can do too with this app specifically is that you can set goals. So you can set like daily goals on the top and weekly goals. So I set like a goal of four hours of deep work a day and I uh, track that and also like eight hours of sleep, seven hours of sleep and also some of my other hobbies for the week. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this app. Simple app. There's a free version. There's a paid version. Yeah, time tracking for me has become a super effective way to make sure that I'm allocating my focus correctly and it helps me stay focused throughout the whole day. If you think about it, the way you spend one day is the way you spend your entire life. So making sure that you're allocating your time the way you want to and being present during those times is super valuable. If you struggle with procrastination, this is super helpful too because if you have to start a timer when you start procrastinating, chances are you probably aren't going to procrastinate for that long. It's given me a lot of time back to actually doing the things that I want to do, like spending more time with family and friends or investing two more hours per day into my hobbies. So yeah, I hope this has inspired you to also start time tracking. For me, I think I'm going to continue tracking my time for as long as I can. I don't think it's a super hard habit to continue doing. And at this point, it's kind of autopilot for me. But even if you don't think you're going to keep this habit up for very long, I would encourage you to try it out for a single week because just seeing how you spend your time in a single week could change how you allocate your time and help you stay more focused throughout the entire day. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.